closure property of integers for addition and subtraction. Students, we know that addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are the four basic operations. And closure, commutativity, associativity, and distributivity are some of the properties related to them. In our previous class, we have learned these properties for whole numbers. That is, on adding two whole numbers, we get a whole number, but this is not always true for subtraction. For example, adding 9 and 15, we get 24, which is a whole number, but subtracting 15 from 9, we get minus 6, which is not a whole number. So we say that whole numbers are closed under addition, but not under subtraction. Using the same concept, let us find whether the closure property is true for addition and subtraction of integers. For this, we consider some examples of addition and subtraction. In the first example, 11 plus 27 is equal to 38, which is an integer. In the second example, minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0, which is also an integer. Same is the case with third and fourth examples. Minus 18 and minus 10 are also integers. In the fifth example, difference of 7 and 23 is minus 16 and minus 16 is an integer. Now minus 9 minus 8 equal to minus 17 is also an integer. Difference of 0 and minus 9 is 9 and it is also an integer. Minus 7 minus minus 7 is equal to 0. So this answer is also an integer. From the first four results, we conclude that addition of integers gives integers. Hence, integers are closed under addition. In general, we say that for any two integers a and b, a plus b is an integer. From these four results, we conclude that subtraction of integers gives integers. Hence, integers are closed under subtraction. In general, we say that for any two integers, a and b, a minus b is an integer.